Thank you for joining us on Season 2, Episode 6, A Tradition of Excellence, with Chief Shoemaker. I don't know Chief Shoemaker personally, but I've seen some great works he's done for our city as the Chief of Police. We have a little in common, as we both worked at McDonald's, and I think it's really cool that you can start at a place like McDonald's and now be a Chief of Police. I really enjoyed listening to this great interview. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Welcome to this episode of Tradition of Excellence. I'm joined here with Chief Shoemaker, class of 2001. So, Chief, what were you involved in in high school? Uh, in high school, I was involved. I've, I have no athletic bone in my body. So I was a manager for the basketball team and also an uh, uh, athletic trainer. Uh, I was involved in one of the first classes in the DECA program that you have mm -hmm. out here. Um, other than that, I worked a lot. Uh, with the athletic uh, department helping out behind the scenes, uh, it kind of works out. A lot of people, a lot of people in my family were athletes, basketball players, baseball players, and everybody thought that that I would do that. But no, I I, I couldn't you, play. You just didn't have any interest, or no? I mean, I, I, I couldn't shoot a basketball. I mean, come <laughs> on. I mean, I could probably beat you, Jackson. But, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I was kind of, you know, a manager and that's kind of what I'm, you know, even doing today as a police chief. Uh, I manage, you know, uh, 35 employees at the police department. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what have you done since you got out of high school? Uh, when I graduated in 2001, I went to Terre Haute uh, uh, to Indiana State University. I started uh, to be a teacher, went through being uh, the program for science education, changed my mind, uh, came back to Frankfurt and became a uh, dispatcher. Um, what I, you know, left out a little bit, I worked at McDonald's for four years. That's where I got my start um, and worked there uh, up to management. You yeah. know, you see the theme in my life here, but I worked at uh, McDonald's, got hired to the police department uh, as a dispatcher, did some ride-alongs and uh, just really uh, wanted to serve my community as a police officer and so in 2006, uh, I became a police officer, and since then I've been uh, working uh, as a detective, uh, a, a supervisor on the road, and deputy chief, and now and now the chief. Um, also, I've dabbled in politics. I've been on the Frankfurt City Council, uh, the Clinton County Council, and I was a, a Clinton County Commissioner uh, until I became police chief. Mm. So you said you started off wanting to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. What made you, like, just... Get rid of that idea. <laughs> well, to be honest, it's, it's just very hard to be a teacher. There's a lot of there's a lot of regulations and rules for teachers these days. Uh, I I, uh, I uh, feel for them. I think they have a lot of work to do. They're underpaid. Um, uh, but then I I just decided all the I hated chemistry. Uh, I just wanted to teach life science. Uh, you know, sixth grade life science. That's what I grew up. You know, when I was in the middle school, that's what I wanted to come back to Frankfurt and teach that here. Uh, but with all the chemistry and all the other stuff, I just and, and the rules and regulations that teachers were undergoing back in 2001, uh, and, and on top of the, the pay, uh, I, I I mean I, I applaud people that want to be teachers. I don't want mm -hmm. I don't want to turn people away from it. And I th I think there's some things in the works where uh, the state should take care of teachers. But yeah. I just uh, came back, having a chance uh, to do a ride along with the police officers because you know all the police officers go to McDonald's for coffee. Uh, yeah. and breakfast and so I uh, got to talk to some of them and did a ride along and just decided uh, that's that's the route I was going to go. Yeah I did a ride along myself you, you know about that with Rush and I, I enjoyed that so I yeah. think I want to do kind of what you do so. I would encourage anybody uh, that wants to get into law enforcement uh, to do a ride along to do you know to come uh, and meet some of the officers uh, whether it's at the station whether it's here at the school uh, we'll, we can set anything like that up, and I don't know if I'd hire you, Jackson. Yeah, I mean, I we're know. gonna, you know, uh, if I'm still there when you're 21, I'll consider. Okay, I know we have our differences. We do. All right, I have one more question for you. So, if you could go back in time and talk to your past self when you were in high school, what would you ask or tell yourself? Um, uh, really, I don't have any regrets. I mean, I uh, just a few years ago I finished my college degree. Uh, I don't, you know, not everybody has to go to college, uh, but I, I just felt like um, I, you know, part of me wanted to, I should have just finished it in 2001 to 2004 or five. Um, so I did finish that. Uh, so I, I would I would have stuck with that and get that degree and, and whatnot. Uh, in law enforcement, you don't have to have a degree, but, you know, outside of law enforcement, it, a lot of police officers go do other jobs uh, that require uh, a degree, uh, probation or um 
other uh, lot. Some departments out there require college degree. So I wish I would have got that done. I went and finished it just because, no reason. I didn't need it, but I finished it. Um, I don't. I don't think I changed much. I mean, I don't have any regrets. Um, I was never in trouble. Uh, I was kind of an introvert. A lot of people were, you know, uh, wondered how, how I became a police officer because I was just kind of chill. You know, I was behind the scenes, laid back, uh, one, one of the you know cool kids like you, you know, popular <laughs> kids. But uh, and so I, I don't think I changed anything. I, I you know I have I, I live here, uh, work here, I have family here, so um, I wouldn't change anything. Would you? Uh, so far. I no, not so far. See, just get, we just gotta make good decisions. That's all we ask people to do. Uh, that's what I did, and you just you know, I, that's what I tell my kids. Tell kids like you, uh, all the choices you make today will affect your future. You don't have to be graded on it forever, but it does affect you. So just stay, stay out of trouble. Make good decisions financially, education wise, your job wise, your and and. And family, you know, you don't want a record. I tell people you don't want a record. Um, you were close to it when you were in my office uh, um, on your ride along day. I don't know about that, but but no, no changes, no regrets, Jackson. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, and thank you guys for watching.